right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of kneeing because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. The Warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that man, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice punch there by Adesanya. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When he drops his hand, throw his head kick. Punches blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Superman punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Uh, 
how good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Nice leg kick. Israel Adesanya gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, man, that kind of felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just over three minutes to go, round one. All 25 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, moving and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon for fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. And he caught the kick. Single collar tie now. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Head kick lands. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he missed with that right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, single collar tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Adesanya's hook to the body there. His block shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Beautiful kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. A great time to land that punch. Stuff to take down, no problem. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch lands over the top. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so cool. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. 
throws the right hand there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big head kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Big leg kick land. Sonya's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there and closed quickly. Four clinching. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Left hand punch from the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. Israel Adesanya's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. What a punch. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And... I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. There's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Big ball from punch land. Don't get back in range. Now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. And that doesn't happen very often. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lands the short elbow there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing his nasty, vicious elbows. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh, man, head to land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big kick land. Both of these guys going all out. High action right here. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Blocks the shot. How about those five minutes? All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. 
early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. There's no tell on that leg cut. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Boy, Ty Plum. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Back and forth we go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clutch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Very tricky to throw that body. Oh, collar tie. Oh, can't put any weight on it. He lands a big knee to the body. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. And he continues to work the body here. Good stick. Nice leg kick land. Connects now with the one-two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. Sneaky head kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Got the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start counting after blocking shots. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, tags him with that upper. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. If your opponent has... No! Huge right hand! Big diving punch lands. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And he's back up. Big kick lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He blocks the punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more. And just... Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Fifteen seconds. Adesanya's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. 
Nice connection. Whoa! All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop for this contest at 11 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by Israel, the last title bender, Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. 